Hey there friends. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set parental controls on your Hisense Android TV. Let's do it right now. So this is gonna be a very similar process for all Android TVs. Again, I'm using a Hisense TV. And what we're gonna do once we have the TV on is we're actually gonna use our remote and we're just gonna scroll up to the top up here and we have a few little options, including this little gear icon that's gonna open up our settings. So I'm gonna click on that. And as you can see, if we scroll down here just a little bit, we come to parental controls. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we have to click on that top button and actually enable parental controls. Now, this is where you need to set your password. Again, this is going to be what you as an adult have to type in anytime you want to use content that's not approved under your parental controls. So what we're gonna do just to make it easy is I'm gonna do one, let's do two, three, and four. So that is gonna be our new passcode. We need to confirm that. All right, there we go. And now we have access to all of our parental controls. So this is kind of cool. This is a section where you can actually block the TV from being able to show content. And basically you just click on this, you can have a start time and an end time, and then you can also tell it which days of the week that those blocks will be enabled. So that's kind of neat if you want to just limit screen time. Let's go back here. We also have a section where we can block content. So if I click on this, these are all channels that are going to be on your network that come in through your digital antenna. So you basically have the ability to block some of these if they potentially have programming you don't want your kids to see. Now let's go back. And one of the other things we can do is input blocking. And this would allow you to block specific inputs, like maybe a PlayStation input or potentially another streaming device that you have that has content that you don't want your kids to access. Now, if you're looking to block specific content like on Netflix or Amazon Prime or something like that, you actually have to do that through the specific applications. So one of the other things you can do down here, obviously, is you could hit the reset button and just reset all this, or you can actually hit the change pin button if you want to reset the password. That is basically it, friends. I hope that's helped. If it has, would you guys please hit that thumbs up button? Let's us know we're making helpful videos, and stay tuned because we're making a bunch more Android TV video tutorials right now. You might want to subscribe to be the first to watch those. Thanks for watching, friends, and we'll see you again next time.